Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to give you, as a professional dog groomer, my favorite dog names. All right, if you're new here, my name is Claire, and this channel is all about mom stuff, lady stuff, and life stuff. So if you're into any of that, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button down below. And today, I'm not only a mother of two beautiful boys, but the mother of a darling dog, Duke. If you are not new here, you've probably seen him in some of my videos. Um, he is a very cherished member of our family. And um, actually, I am a professional dog groomer. I've been grooming for over seven years. And in that time, I see about 35 dogs a week up until recently when I went on to part-time. Um, but that means that I have seen a lot of dogs in my career with all sorts of names. And of course, your classic dog names like Max and Bella and Bailey are always a solid choice. But I thought that since I really had a unique sort of perspective as to what you should name your furry friends. I thought I would share it with you, but I'm gonna start out uh, the list here. And these would be good for dogs, cats, hamsters, turtles. These are just generic pet names. I mean, you could get really crazy and use them for a child if you really wanted to. All right, so my first sort of category is food names. These could be for girls or boys, whatever you feel like. And I will say that these are names that I have all actually heard on real dogs. These aren't just things I made up. These are actual dogs I have groomed or, uh, you know, have been in, you know, my business. So, my first name is Meatball, and I think it's so cute. And if any of you out there, like, personally know me, if you're one of my groomer friends, you know that it is my goal in life to have a Brussels Griffon named Meatball. I think it's, like, the cutest name ever. Boy or girl, it totally works for me. So Meatball is my first choice. My second food name is Crumpet. I think it's so cute and funny. If this isn't your first time here, you know I'm like a little British, so of course I gotta throw a Crumpet in there. My number three is Snapple, and I think that's really cute. Actually, I got this name from a cat, um, cause I groom cats too, and uh, I just thought Snapple is like really like a cute name. My next one is French Fry. And this isn't a dog I groomed, but one of my coworkers groomed a dog named French Fry, and I thought, oh my gosh, that is so cute. It was like a big, like, silly yellow lab. So I thought French Fry was adorable. And my last one is Pork Chop. Now, if you are a 90s kid like me, you might remember the cartoon Doug um, from Nickelodeon, and his dog's name was Pork Chop, but uh, I have groomed a couple Pork Chops as well, and I think that's a very funny, cute name. All right, you guys, my next category is boy names. Now, I say this in quotations because dogs really don't need to adhere to gender norms. You can name your dog whatever you want. These are names that I've heard personally on boy dogs, but there's no reason you couldn't use it on a girl dog. The whole feminine and masculine dog thing is all in your head. All right, my first name is Bean. I think Bean is so cute and it is starting to rise a little bit in popularity when it comes to dog names. So there might be another Bean at the dog park if you go with it, but I think it's darling. All right, my second name is Mojo. And I think Mojo is just a darling name. I think it could fit a small dog or a large dog. I just think it's cute. All right, my next name is Mosby, and this actually, one of my close grooming friends, this is her dog's name, and I just thought that it was such a cute name. He's like this cute little pit bull mix. You know, it's like kind of one of those names where like he might be like a British, like bow tie wearing kind of guy, Mosby. I just thought, oh, that's a really good name. So good job, Summer, I love your dog's name. All right, you guys, my next name is Tabasco, and this easily could have gone on the food list, but I put it on the boy name list just because. Um, but I do actually groom a dog named Tabasco, and like, I just think that it's the best name. Like, I can't believe someone thought of that for a dog. I think it's awesome, and you probably will not meet very many Tabascos if you go with that name with your dog. All right, my next boy name is Rambo. And actually, this one is pretty personal because I groomed a dog named Rambo for many years. He's passed away now, but I really, really loved him, and he was like, like a poodle mix. Um, but I always thought Rambo was like just the cutest name, especially because he was just this like little curly guy, you know? All right, the last name on my list is Da Vinci. And I just think this is such a fun, kind of like fancy name, you know? Like any of the classics, if you went with like Michelangelo or Da Vinci or anything like that, I think that's really 
like a unique thing to think of. I definitely don't see very many of those in the salon. Um, I've only ever had one Da Vinci. Uh, rest in peace. He was one of my favorite dogs. Um, but I always loved his name and like I always have that in the back of my head that maybe one day I'll have a dog named Da Vinci. Alright, now I'm going to give you some girl names. And a lot of these are like kind of flower related. I don't know why I really like love a good flower name. Actually, I have a couple baby name videos like boy names and girl names and I'll link those videos down below because flowers make an appearance in my people names too. So the first one I have is Petal and I think that's so cute. I can just imagine like even like a huge like hundred pound mastiff named Petal or like a little tiny Yorkie named Petal. I think that that um, would just be cute on any breed. My next one is Ladybug and I think that's also like really cutesy if like you're into like the cutesy sort of names. I think Ladybug is really cute too. My next one is Poppy and this actually one of the other groomers I work with has a dog named Poppy and she's this like sassy little chihuahua and I just think it's darling and I've always loved that she has a dog named Poppy. The next one is Blossom and I think this one would be perfect for like a dog that's like a little funky. like. I mean, this might sound weird, but as a groomer and like working with lots of other groomers, we always appreciate a dog that's like a little weird. You know, like a dog that like maybe has one eye or like has like a tongue that sticks out the side of their mouth. Like we love a good weird dog and I can just like picture like the weirdest, crustiest, old, funky dog named Blossom and I would love it. I would love it to death. Alright, my next dog name is Peggy and I think Peggy is so like cute for a dog. The tough one with this is if you might possibly know a person named Peggy so you have to take that into consideration if using the name Peggy. Alright, my last girl name is Wednesday and I think Wednesday is so cool. It's like a total nod to the Adams family so maybe if you have a black dog or a black cat, you know, something kind of dark, I think Wednesday is like a totally cool name for a pet. Next, this isn't really a category, more like just a really good idea for you. Um, I've seen it done a lot um, in the salon and over my career and that is taking the breed of dog you have and using its origin. Uh, to pick a name. So the best example I have of this, we have two German Shepherds that come in. They're like these huge, massive, beautiful German Shepherds and their names are Greta and Helga and I think that that is amazing. Like their owners just pick these like strong classic German names for their German Shepherds and I just think it's so cute. Another example of this is if you have like a Shiba Inu. We actually have some that come in that are named Sushi and Wasabi and I think that that is so so cute. So if you have a dog that's like mostly one thing, I mean obviously my dog is like a huge mutt so it wouldn't work for me, but if you have a dog that's like a specific breed, um, do a little research, find out like where their like nation of origin is and maybe pick a name that's related to that. Because definitely as groomers we totally appreciate it when someone comes in with like a good solid like culturally appropriate name for their dog. <laughs> And lastly, I'm going to give you a list of names that are the craziest, weirdest, off-the-wall names I have ever heard in my salon. These are 100% real, these are real dogs that I have groomed, and I just thought, like, you should just know that there are dogs out there with these names that exist. The first one I'm going to tell you <laughs> is Dream Puff. There is a real Pomeranian named Dream Puff, and I think that is amazing. Like, honestly, I can't even lie, as a groomer, the weirder your dog's name is, the more I'm kind of obsessed with it. Like, we love a good weird name. And with that being said, the second one is Knife. And amazingly, this was also a Pomeranian named Knife. And I like think that that is like so hilarious. Like, love it. The third one actually is a cat, and it's a cat named Melissa. And I just think like, just the irony of naming like a big fat cat, like a super normal human name, it's just like so funny to me. And it like suits her so perfectly, like it's very funny. I like, I just hats off to Melissa's mom for just like naming her fat cat Melissa, it's like so funny. Alright, my next name is Q-Tip and Q-Tip is actually a darling little Pekingese and like, you know, she's got like a big fluffy white head and like, you know, obviously a Q-Tip. but. It's very funny that someone actually went through with naming their dog Q-Tip. My next 
name is James Brown. I have a dachshund that I groom named James Brown. And I will say, he is one of my favorite clients of all time. He's like the sweetest, cutest little dachshund. And he's, his name is James Brown. I think that's amazing. I just think it's great. So that's another idea, like to name your dog after like a celebrity. Go for it. We think it's great in the salon. So we won't judge you. We'll shake your hand for it. The next one is a corgi and his name was Fat Bob. And like, I just love it because you just expect him to be this character. And of course he's a corgi, so he does like just have character oozing out of his ears, you know, so Fat Bob, very funny. And lastly, way, way back in the day when I was a grooming student, I groomed a Bashan that was named Jetem. Like, someone really named their dog Jetem. And like, at first I was like, really? But then I was like, actually that's pretty sweet. I like think it's pretty cool like to just pick, pick a random word in another language. Like, that could totally work for you. All right, you guys, those were all my ideas for names of dogs slash cats slash any kind of pet. As I said, I've been grooming for a really long time, so I have seen every kind of name you can imagine, and these are ones I think that if any of you chose, would definitely get your, uh, your groomer's seal of approval. I do post videos about animals every now and then because I am a groomer. Um, I have like a review of a de-shedding brush. I'll leave uh, that video down below. Um, I also have a video of making dog treats with my two-year-old and I'll leave that down below. And let me know if there's anything you wanna see that has to do with grooming. Oh, I gave Duke a skunk bath. I'll leave that one down below too. Um, but let me know, because I know a lot of you not only have beautiful children, but you have beautiful dogs too. And those are your babies too. They're a very important part of your family and I would love to make more content for uh, you as well. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and come back for more mom stuff, lady stuff, and life stuff. I do post new videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, and I would love to have you. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!